So I'm gonna show you the coolest swimming hole ever. It starts up here with the river coming in and it comes down this waterfall. So it empties out into this lagoon and you can't tell from here, but this lagoon is crystal clear. It's a crystal clear lagoon, sandy bottom try to zero in on some of it. But it's a sandy bottom and then that river continues further on down over behind there. And from that point on, it's, it's like, once again, crystal clear water probably about 50 feet across anywhere from two to eight feet deep sandy bottom as far as I could see down the river and then that that beach area over there up in the top in that grove of trees it's like super sandy like you know really fine sugary sand you know with grasses and like a willow tree, like it, it, and then you have the cliffs, the little these cliffs over there, little island over here. I mean, it's when I was a kid, we used to basically explore the creek system around my house through the forests. We'd, we'd spend days and days, whole summers, you know, following it upstream and downstream, every little tributary in search of like a waterfall, you know, in search of like the perfect swimming hole. This is it. Uh, you know, this is, this is the, Shangri-La swimming holes. I mean, it's got everything. It's got the sandy beach. It's got the crystal clear water, the sandy bottom, the cliffs, the waterfall, the meandering river going down through the forest that's also crystal clear with a sandy bottom. Just phenomenal. You know, yeah, the water's pretty cold, but um, whatever. That is something special. Wow. Something that I've kind of noticed uh, walking along this uh, gorge is, um, you know, st stuff like, well, let's just start with the big boy over here. So a lot of trees like that over there, yeah, that's a 40 foot pine tree. There's another one right next to it. And you can tell it was just ripped in half. And you know, that other one uh, that's pointing in the upstream direction, yeah, you can see it was just broken in half. And, you know, I see a lot of a lot of those kind of trees along along the riverbank here you know and you know the the kind of power it takes 
you know, for those things to get into the stream and then be just ripped down river. I mean, that's a five, 6,000 pound tree easily. And whenever I see them, they're in that condition. Basically all the bark stripped completely off, the branches ripped off, usually part of it broken in two. And keep in mind that the water had to be that high above where it is now, where those trees are, for those things to have gotten there. You know, so, you know, at flood stage, it was at least that deep. And then, you know, I'm standing probably five to six feet above where that tree is. And where I'm at, you know, there's trees over here too. And then, you know, all this flotsam, you know, so this was, you know, and then <laughs> look at that over there, you know, so you can only imagine that after the, the winter snowpack melts and this ravine is in flood stage, it must be awesome and terrifying all at the same time. Um, you know, that water just, just rips these trees down <laughs> to their bare skin and uh, throws them around like matchsticks. You know, so I can only imagine the awesome power that must be on display, you know, in a place like this during the spring floods. You know, it's calm and beautiful now, but please. I was able to check out this channel from up on the bluffs a little further down. It just goes, continues down like this. Um, crystal clear, sandy bottom. Definitely deep enough to swim in over your head in a lot of places. Sandy Beach, Calm Lagoon, Waterfall, Cliffs, leading down a, a lazy crystal clear river with a sandy bottom. It goes off into those woods and it's just crystal clear, two to eight feet deep all the way down with a sandy bottom and then like a cool sandy berm over there. Yeah, like I say, world's best swimming hole. <laughs>